A common practice by some drivers on Clements Ferry Road has a number of people upset. They say they want law enforcement to step in to help fix this problem. This is Raymond Owens live on Clements Ferry Road with a look at the problem. It can get bad out there, Raymond. Well, how people are using that middle lane you see here behind me uh, has, has a lot of drivers upset. One lady contacted me today asking if we could uh, publicize that issue so possibly they could get some help. It's really stressful every morning simply because of the traffic situation. Laura Kate Hart says Clements Ferry Road is almost always backed up. In addition to that, we don't have enough room for all the cars. We've only got one lane going each way. In the middle of the lanes is a turning lane. Some portions of the road have right turn lanes as well. There is the problem. People have been using those as their own personal passing lanes, um, and it's become a really dangerous situation on a day-to-day -day basis. I, along with a lot of people that I know in the area, have young children. So she's concerned about a possible accident. Every morning I'm sitting in traffic with my five-year-old son in the back. But this morning I had one cut me off as they came over from the left lane or from the left in the turn lane um, that they were using. They were going about 10 to 20 miles per hour the whole way down, cut right in front of me and literally almost caused an accident with my five-year-old in the car. She said it was actually a taxi driver. Laura Kate says a Berkeley County Sheriff's deputy did get involved with the driver who cut her off this morning and was in contact with their employer and was assured that it would be addressed through the employer. She thinks more deputies need to be keeping an eye on the problem. I just feel that there needs to be more of a police presence um, in those rush hour periods. And joining me right now is Deputy Cephas Rogers with the Berkeley County uh, Sheriff's Office. Uh, Deputy Rogers, uh, you were able to help Laura Kate earlier today. Uh, tell me about this area, the Clements Ferry Road area. Are you guys doing more to try and fix this problem? Yes, we are. We're trying to use high visibility to combat the violations that occur. Unfortunately, we can't be everywhere at all times, but we're doing our best to deter these violations and to generate voluntary compliance by our drivers. There's no passing on Clements Ferry Highway, no passing. The median is for turning only and short distances. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it, uh, Deputy Rogers. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, that basically gives you an idea of what they're doing here at Clements Ferry Road. Live on Clements Ferry Road, I'm Raymond Owens, News 2.